Rangaroo herself was a very strong indigenous uh, leader. Um, she lived in this area. They would have used this headland to live, to eat, to cook, um, and they would have used their boats to go out to the island and fish and come back here and live. So uh, it's fitting to return it as best as we can in a naturalistic sense to uh, what it was previous. So I think one of the biggest challenges in this project was uh, so many elements of it hadn't been done before. Um, we had a blank canvas. It was one asphalt deck, six and a half hectares of asphalt, um, which was just a rectangular shape, pretty much all the same level. This was very bespoke. It was very different. So um, we had to work a lot of it out on the run. What it did was it enabled us to challenge everything. It enabled us to come up with as many innovations as we could and test them thoroughly for months. So for Len Lease, we needed to find a partner to be sure that we got the best park for the people of Sydney and for all the tourists that would, would visit it. And we were very confident starting off that Oricon would give us that and would deliver the, the very best and be prepared to challenge everything. Oricon worked on the structural engineering, the civil engineering, the geotechnical, um, temporary works, and assisted with the design management throughout the process. This cultural space itself, it was a great challenge being building something of this size, 75,000 cubic meter space that we're, uh, we're in right now, and going down two levels of car park space underneath. Some of the main innovations of the project include the, the roof structure of, this, of the cutaway. It utilises bridge technology and um, super tees that are widely used in Australia for, for designer bridges um, have, been, have been used and the, the girders are about one metre deep, spanning 30 metres. And above the, the, the space we've got a landscape garden, so it, it, this re is really a subterranean building. We designed a 19 metre high um, reinforced concrete retaining wall that um, we could use a lot of the fill with, without importing a lot of fill through the busy city, city of Sydney. So the sandstone foreshore was one of the key challenges on, on the project in terms of its construction. We had to take out 10,000 blocks, some of them 15 tonnes, from beneath where we're sitting now and we had to use that for a 1.4 kilometre foreshore around, around the park. We needed to know where each block was, what attributes there were to each block. Each block had a different height, length, width, shape. So from the moment we cut the block in the quarry under, under where we're standing now, we started identifying where it was going to end up. So we used um, Revit in a, in a new way. Um, where, where it's normally used in a building application, we've used it in a, in a major civil marine application to basically tag each block or identify each block where it's going to go in a virtual world. And then that translated out to the real world in, in terms of putting it into the park. So when you walk along the foreshore now, um, it's got that sense of belonging and, and, and like it was, it was always there. We had a 1920s heritage building that we had to pick up and um, move about 100 metres. Um, so it, it, it was an old sewer pump station. It weighed about 110 tonnes and, and to, to lift it we, we ended up doing a, a dual crane lift. We put some steel beams in there, built a frame within the brick structure and I guess literally cradled it and picked it up from, from underneath. Put it on the back of a, back of a truck and moved it to its new location and then lifted it again and placed it on, the, on its new location. No matter what the challenge was, we had a great sustainability outcome here. We've had 75,000 plants and shrubs. When you go through the park now, it's alive. It's like a park that was built, you know, 10 years ago. It's not like a park that was only finished a couple of months ago. The success of the project for me um, is really about collaboration. Our role was really to um, provide engineering solutions that underpinned what would ultimately be a, a naturalistic landscape within Sydney Harbour. This project was uh, very successful because it overcame a lot of really difficult challenges. We took the risks on all of these things that hadn't been done before. We said, we're going we're gonna to challenge it, we're going to take it on. And 
we're sitting at the end and they've all been a success. And I think that's the thing that's to be most proud of. From an engineering point of view, from, from, from my side, I love being challenged. And it's great working with, with, um, with somebody like Kieran, who you can work together to achieve uh, an outstanding engineering outcome. And at the end of the, the project, all the engineering outcomes are buried underneath uh, a beautiful park. Uh, and I think that process through all of these different streams in, in the scope of work led to you know, what, what most people would accept now is, is a really a great outcome.